Hi, this week I was actually quite intrigued to read about the stepping down of the CEO of this company called Away.com over what is this being described as toxic culture. So I want to talk to you about three things that organizations can do uh, to ensure that the company culture is in alignment with what the employees experience and what the leaders claim. So the first thing to keep in mind is making sure that when you describe your vision, values and mission of the company, it's uh, very tempting to actually describe it in terms which are inspirational, but please, please do not use words like we are here to change the world, we are here to make a ding in the universe. No, you aren't. You are actually making a product and service and we get it. And so the more you describe your vision and values in realistic terms that the people will be able to experience, the less cynical they will be. The second thing that I want to suggest is that when you have a policy, which is uh, something about uh, you know flexible working or taking a sabbatical or work from home, etc. All of this, make sure that your CXOs use that policy and demonstrate that it is okay to use it. Otherwise, what may happen is you may have the policy on paper, but some manager is going to weaponize it and tell the employees that, well, I think you work from home, so I'm not quite sure about your productivity. And this is one of the most common ways in which a good policy can get abused and weaponized. The third thing to keep in mind is making sure that your communication channels are always open and well-oiled and it is two ways. Which means that if you're a leader, making sure that you get out there and talk to your employees at least once a month, if not more frequently, about not just goals and targets. Maybe when you talk about that, also do spend time talking about how to make sure that it works like that and asking people if that is what they have experienced on the ground that really makes a world of a difference. So having a two-way communication where an employee can actually feel safe to walk up to the leader and share any kind of bad news, whether it's about a discrepancy in the policy, poor treatment by a manager, or something that they've heard from the customer, anything is okay to share with the senior leadership of the team. Having a culture like that is one of the most powerful competitive advantages an organization can have. Would you agree with that?